Ah. So about V-Duck, I still plan on kind of doing V-Duck. It's going to be kind of weird. If you don't know what V-Duck is, it's vlog every day until Christmas. That's something I made up last year that I thought was kind of cool. But anyway, I'm going to be trying to do that again this year. I don't want to make it boring though. So that's going to be the hard part is making it interesting again for you guys. Where I'll basically put out a video every day from December 1st to December 25th until Christmas. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how that goes. And for those who knew, Jackson was not feeling well, but now he's feeling much better, aren't you, Jackson? He had hurt his back, I think, probably jumping up or something like that. Hurt around here. He winced every time he touched it and shit like that. I was really worried about him. But he's doing much better, aren't you, Jackson? He's got one of them chew toys right now, so he's all about that thing. Cold start. Ah, the valve's closed. So the exhaust actually gave me this check engine light. It's because of the uh, EVs that I was talking to you about. Thankfully, I um, have my old iPhone that allows me to connect to the app. If I just go to the app, right, I can connect to this car and read the trouble codes. And then you can actually use this as a remote to open and close the valves. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference inside the car. But it goes to basically quiet to, you know, a slight rumble. And then you can also see your uh, RPM and stuff like that, which I don't really know why you'd need to. See how it's kind of going up just a little bit? Yeah. Well, anyway, so I've got the trouble codes right here. Yeah, the evaporation emissions control system purge control valve circuit, which is actually a really handy thing to have on your phone because the uh, Army Chicks exhaust plugs into the OBD2. Um, and it's even cooler because you have this little clear code button. So, uh, just clear the codes, and then boom, check engine light just went off. It, like, it, you can clear codes from here and read them, and it tells you the actual code versus uh, the code numbers. I mean, it has the code numbers, and it tells you the code as well. Like, I really like this app. It, took, it was such a pain in the ass to connect to, because no one tells you how to connect to it. They just tell you what to do. Um, the, the pin, you have a pin number for Bluetooth on these, if you don't use an iPhone, and the pin number is 1234. So, there you go. These are all different options that you can choose from to look at. So you can look at exhaust. You can look at exhaust temperatures. You can look at your air temperatures. You can look at how much throttle you use in your ba your battery voltage. If you have uh, if you have if you're turboed or supercharged, you can look at your boost through here. Just it's kind of cool. It's like having your own little personal hand guide. And so it is a gloomy day in northern Georgia, mid to north Georgia. I gotta do I gotta go do some adult shit today. I gotta get some clothes. My dad's getting presented with a. Uh, an award from the uh, from the governor, so that's kind of like a big deal. So tomorrow I gotta actually go do that with my dad. I'm gonna go to the dinner with my mom and my dad. They're coming up here. I wonder if I can hold this thing while shifting like banging gears and shit. So I gotta get some clothes, like some actual dress clothes, because I don't really have any. I've ne I never go to events like where I need to dress up nice because what I do for a living is really weird. So I gotta go do that. I gotta get clothes, and then um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing to the dino store or uh, the dino store. I think I'm gonna take this to a local dino and have them tune out that error code. Error code. Most dinos shops can plug into your ECU and permaclear certain codes, and I'm hoping that that's one of them. Um, so they can just do that, and um, maybe even get the car dyno, like, not necessarily dyno tuned, because I'll have to get a new tune anyway. Well, maybe I will. I do want to at least get it dynoed and see what it's putting down at the wheel. I'd like to know, I think stock, these things put down around 410, 415 to the wheel. Um, they make about 460 to the crank. It's actually a really good ratio. So Dan got a bunch of, like, clothes back there. I don't know if you can see them. I got a bunch of uh, like dress clothes and stuff for this event, and I kind of look a little bit like Donald J. Trump. I can't, I can't help that. That's not what I wanted. So now, I gotta go to the Dino Tuner and see if they'll tune this fucking code for me. Because every time I clear it, it comes back. So yeah, I just went to this place called Injected Engineering, and I was just asking for a simple clear code, and they won't even work on my car because it's a Chevy, which I think is kind of fucked, right? Because like all you do is you plug in the OBD2, and it should work. So it was really weird. Um, I went to this place originally, this Injected Engineering, and they're like, nah, dude, we don't even want your business. We don't even want to try to look at your car. We only do, we don't do GM parts, which I can kind of understand, but 
it seems it was it seemed kind of dickish the way it came off maybe it was just because you know from what i've been told from my tuning friend is that um you know like the software is basically the same you just plug it into the obd2 and then it looks at everything on the the engine you can look at it looks at everything on the tune you can adjust everything that you want uh, air fuel mixture ratio stuff like that clear codes so i know they could probably do it but it just kind of seemed like a, a dick thing to be like, nope, don't even work on GMs. Which is, like, I get it. Like, that's not your thing. But, I mean, like, I'll, I'm going to pay you money to do it. Like, please. So, so they recommended me to go to this place called MTI Racing. Called MTI Racing. They said that, um, that they, they're not even available to do it today. And that they don't even want to take the job because... Uh, that they don't even want to take the job because they didn't do the install at first. I'm like, it's just a code, man. Can someone please clear the code? The guy I was talking to was talking about making sure that he kept my business. And I was like, well, yeah, if you help me out, I'm definitely going to go to you guys again. It just felt like, it felt weird to have two situations like that back to back. I'm just looking for a code, for a code clear in a reliable dyno place. I guess that's too hard. But since no one's available to do it today, I guess I'm just going to end the vlog here and then pick up on it again the next day and then just continue. Like, huh.